Jones on this side. Good enough. The weight of the truck will do the rest. You two go down to the edge of the gulch. When the truck crashes through, make sure Hudson doesn't get out of the wreck. Listen! What's that? Lay low till we see who it is. It's Cal. Girl got away. What? I met Kurt. She was looking for him. Stupid fool. She'll have the law on us and lead him right to the hideout. Scatter and comb the neighborhood. We've got to find her. Wait. Here comes Hudson. Better take care of him first. talking about it when I was in the cabin. They fixed the bridge so it would crash. Why the... So that's the... All right. Come on. Boys, must have just got here. Follow me. Can't take a chance on a gunfight. Get back to your horses. Sound like they beat it. Ruth, do you think you can find that cabin again? Oh, I don't think so. All I remember was running through the dark. I reached the road by accident. They ran through the woods on the other side. You want to go after them? No, we couldn't find them now anyway. Post and see what you can salvage from that wreck. Come on, Ruth, you and I'll take this other truck and go to town and have a talk with the marshal. Sister, 
Excellent. That's good to see. Absolutely essential to a strong organization, Brent. I am Dr. Hart. Yeah, I was expecting you. Brock said that you were to hide out here, that your work started after we picked up Dr. Miller's invention. Yes, that's right. Glad to have you with us. Now, if you'll excuse me. BR to HB. BR to HB. Come in, BR. Hudson and the girl both got away. Yes, I know all about your blundering. Hudson just told me he's sending the marshal out with the posse to locate your cabin. If things get too hot, we'll clear out and leave the place looking like a regular ranch. Well, if we wait fast, that won't be necessary. Now, I want Miller's invention, and I want it tonight before Hudson and the girl reach the mine. Now, get busy. Okay, Chief. Tell the boys to get ready. We're going after the real thing tonight. Get set for a pleasant surprise, Dr. House. You'll have that Paratron in a couple of hours. so hard since I was old enough to know better. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Doc? If I did, Bill, I wouldn't need the steel plate. In science, one must allow for miscalculation. terrific charge of atomic power concentrated from that quartz. The last time we experimented, you'll remember, the light wave carried metallic dust. Tonight we'll see if the beam will carry an object as large as one of these pellets. Because the wave is of unusual and untested strength, I'm using the steel plate. Well, if you'd told me that before, I'd have said, go ahead and blow out the old damn wall. What's the matter, Grit? Getting too old to take it? Oh, listen to who's talking. <laughs> I know where the lab building is. Huck says that's where we find Dr. Miller's invention. Now get going. Cover them. Don't shoot unless you have to. And if you have to, don't miss. Ordinarily, I'd let one of you men hold the receiver. But now I can't take a chance on letting anyone come within range of the light wave. Go ahead, I'm on needles and pins. Let her rip. Now watch. What was that? Looks like that's the thing we came for. Around the cabin. Don't stand there. Get going. Not me. Didn't you see what happened? Nothing left of them guys but a puff of smoke. No, sir. Now take your choice. Better wait here. This may be another attempt to steal a paratron. Identify those men. Everything on them was destroyed. 
Oh, that's too bad. I was in hopes there'd be some sort of a clue. I still think they're just a gang of outlaws. No, it's bigger than that, Pop. This gang's international. They'd give anything in the world for Doc's invention. I don't get it. Doc is in there brooding because his invention turned out to be a death ray instead of a... Well, instead of what it's supposed to be. He sure is peculiar. No, no, not peculiar. Civilized. Well, whatever it is, I don't understand. He's got something that's worth millions, and he's sore about it. What are you going to do with all that gear you brought up from Saskatch? Well, that's the equipment I brought to start up the old shaft again. You still think you can reach the vein of quartz from the lower level? I'm sure of it. After all that book learning he got in college and you're still doubting him? Pop, you know why I know there's quartz in that lower level is because grit's rheumatism acts up when he gets close to it. Rheumatism. I ain't had an ache in my life. <laughs> no. <laughs> when do you expect to get that hoist in? I'll have it running tomorrow. There doesn't seem to be anything for me to do around here. Might just as well go fishing. You might go back to the lab and cheer up the doctor. And all I'm good for these days is to give advice. Let's give the boys a hand. But you didn't know those men were out there. It's not your fault. After working for years to benefit humanity, I end up with a terrible weapon of destruction. Well, now you're wrong, Lad. Let's look at it this way. If it is a weapon of destruction, it's also a weapon of defense. Jim is refitting an old shaft that runs a thousand feet into the ground. Maybe you'd like to see it. Come on, Doc. Let's put our cards on the table and face the facts. Think for a minute what this invention will mean to the country. a rock, burn a man into a puff of smoke. A rocket gun is a harmless toy compared to this. Think of it. I've got troubles of my own to think of. How to get that ray machine without losing any more men. How to get it quick enough to satisfy Brock. You were so near last night. Why did you take it then? Uh, the boys got afraid. It scared the fight out of them. I was just talking to our man up at the mine. He said they're fixing up that shaft we put out of commission. So what? I thought you'd like to know. You'd have told me they were all dead. Hey, Chris! Hold it! Let me talk to him! Our men looked all through that area. Well, all I can say, Marshal, is what I told you before. Miss Miller figures the hideout's about halfway between here and the bride of the wreck. Pretty rugged country. The only person I know living in there is a trapper named Kurtz. Know him? Vaguely. I stopped there once while I was hunting. Maybe you ought to have a talk with him. I think I will. My main trouble is I ain't got enough men to make a real search. Can you spare any? Sorry, but I can't. We're short of help ourselves. Well, I'll do what I can. I'll have the chief send another deputy up here. Thanks, Marshal. And stick on the job and you run them down, will you? Well, you told me to let you know when we was all set down in the shaft. Well, are we? Yep. Let's go. That works as slick as a whistle. All set for the blast in the bottom drift? All set. I looked it over. I couldn't have done better myself. I couldn't have done better myself, he says. Why, you couldn't find the right place to set off a firecracker. Set that box of explosive on the heist. Ah, the brakes. Ain't you ever going to learn that when I fix something, it's fixed right? I've been taking his back talk for 20 years. Someday I'm going to get him fire him. Yeah, I know. Men down there, Bolton? They've yeah, been through drilling for ten minutes. Now we'll soon find out if that theory of yours about the vein of quartz is correct. It's not a theory, it's a fact. You're going down or ain't you? Let's go. Take it easy. I want to inspect that new cribbing. You know, Fred did a good job in here, considering the time. How'd the shaft happen to get wrecked? Well, we figure some of Dad's old enemies were trying to break him and take over the mine. Now it looks like there's a little more to it than that. 